when you think value there's one brand that sticks out the most Xiaomi the company that brought the concept of maximum specs for minimum money the company's Redmi Note series has been synonymous with offering bang for the buck and pushing the boundaries of what you can expect in your budget however Samsung Realme and even Motorola have been catching up can the all new Redmi Note 11s deliver a knockout punch to the tough competition find out in the Selguru review First impressions are key and the Redmi Note 11s kicks things off with a whimper instead of a bang. Xiaomi has played it safe with the design and the phone certainly doesn't scream premium. The matte polycarbonate back is built to a price and it feels it. It's also a fingerprint and dust magnet. On the flip side, the camera module's design takes a bite out of Xiaomi's broader design sense and fits like a glove into the lineup. You get standard features like an IR blaster, headphone jack and a micro SD card slot. The inclusion of an IP53 rating is a nice touch too. The display is where things start getting interesting. The 90Hz AMOLED panel stretches all the way to 6.43 inches and looks stunning. Moreover, the 1000 nits of peak brightness ensure sunlight visibility. The display is well suited for watching multimedia content and yes, the stereo speakers live up to expectations with loud and crystal clear audio. Performance falters a bit with the older MediaTek Helio G96 processor. Mi UI is decently optimized to allow for a good day-to-day -day use but a scorcher. This is not. In fact, if you are expecting to spend most of your time playing video games like Genshin Impact, you should look elsewhere. Xiaomi has been talking up the camera on the Redmi Note 11s and for good reason. It's the same camera as on the higher-end Xiaomi 11i Hypercharge and the 108 megapixel primary camera is the capable performer that delivers an astounding amount of detail. In good lighting, you can expect fairly natural looking photos with just a hint of saturation boost for those social media ready shots. Dynamic range is plenty good too, though you will observe noise levels creeping up in less than great light. The 8 megapixel ultra wide camera is a lot more conventional and has noticeable edge distortion. While colors remain plenty good, there's not much room here to crop in because of low resolution. You'll also find 2 megapixel macro and depth sensors. We wish Xiaomi would have tossed in its excellent 5 megapixel tele macro sensor here instead. Keeping the show on the road is a large 5000 mAh battery and the phone can comfortably go a day or more depending on your use. Charging speeds are reasonably fast at 33 watt, but with 65 watt becoming common. It would have been nice to see an upgrade there. Priced at 16,499 rupees, the Redmi Note 11s is a return to form for Xiaomi. While it might not please ardent gamers and the performance enthusiast, the phone has a package that should more than suffice for anyone wanting a reliable daily driver. The phone wins an easy recommendation from us, but wish that Xiaomi would have opted for a more eye-catching design to make it an all-out winner.